Hello, Carrots here. Welcome to episode 24 of the Isla Paradiso Bunch. We have the same crew as usual, no changes there, and we'll start at Surf Circle, the home lot. It's around 10 o'clock in the morning and Sam's due to go to work, so he's in his room at the moment, about to change into his work clothes and head off to work for the day at the beach. It's what a fun place to work. Nice sunny day outside. I saw all those elixirs still sitting there from the beginning of the game. I haven't done anything with elixirs for a long time now. The garden's getting a bit small too. But the gardeners are still hired, so I guess I'll continue to come and do some gardening there each day. There he is, running off down the hill to where he gets into his boat. At least the beach isn't very far away. Each day the game allocates a beach to him and there's the icon you see, which is his beach for the day. The problem is that icon doesn't appear until he's actually on the clock. So I've got to watch and wait. When he's on the clock then I go into town mode, edit town, and I have a look and see which beach the icon's on for that day. So there's no sims here at the beach at the moment. It's the Sparkling Sands Beach. This is the one where the resort is behind the beach. That rubbish bin looks like it needs emptying too. And Sam's doing his duty, surveying the beach. I've decided not to tell him to survey the beach from now on. I'll just let him relax and to do nothing, just hang around, do be an idle sim basically, until I see somebody who needs to be rescued from drowning. That way I don't have to try to cancel the survey the beach action, which seems to take forever to cancel. Actually it's impossible to cancel, so you've just got to wait until he eventually either notices the sim that's drowning himself or he stops surveying the beach, which can take literally minutes in real life for it to happen. So it's quicker to get me through the game faster and give him a chance to rescue more sims. Because while he is surveying the beach and there's a sim drowning, another sim will start to drown at the same time. Another one will suddenly drop the CPR and he's still surveying the beach. And refusing to cancel. There he is, he's found a sim with CPR, needing CPR. But Judy wasn't there, but I've got her there now. She's changed into a swimsuit, so she's ready for action. Next time there's a sim that needs CPR, Judy can do it. Provided she stays there, of course. Sam was successful with that one, didn't take so long as I thought. There's not many sims at the beach yet. There's Judy having a little walk around in the water on the right hand side of the screen there. Nice weather to be out. Now she's gotten a boat. She's heading home. That's not fair Judy. I didn't want you to go home. You're supposed to stay there and help Sam out at the beach. I did notice she was thinking a lot about her lifetime wish. We've done nothing yet to help her actually achieve that lifetime wish. I think that she can start working on it after Sam discovers the island because we're going to go travelling around various other worlds just on a little exploration exercise after Sam's got the final island. Just not too sure how long it'll take for Sam to get the final island. But parrots outside again, and there's a sim drowning. Come on, Sam, come and rescue him or her, whoever it is. I can't see from where I am looking from, but I've got a very tiny picture. 
but it seems to be working better not having him constantly surveying the beach. He doesn't have to work all of the time now because he's already at the level 10 of his career. So before it was important for him to survey the beach because he needed to get points up to be able to you know, get through his career levels, but he can't get any higher in his career than he already is now. Obviously, he can still get more experience, and I suppose the more experience he gets, the better he's going to get at, at um, rescuing Sims. But this is a strategy I'm following at the moment. I won't stop him surveying the beach if he is surveying the beach autonomously, but I'm not going to keep telling him, survey the beach, Sam, come on, survey the beach, don't just stand there. Instead, I'm going to say, just stand there, Sam, just in case somebody drowns and you'll be ready to go rescue them. There's somebody else drowning. So Sam's having a busy day today. If we could get three or four Sims rescued each time he goes to work, we'll get through this 35 fairly quickly. Because he works four days a week. So he'll be working again tomorrow, because this is Sunday, and then he works again on Monday. He has Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday off work. That's when I was getting him to do his charisma and athletic training because that helped him get to level 10 a lot faster than the surveying the beach was helping him. If he had just done surveying the beach, he probably still wouldn't be at level 10. There he is. He's swimming the full length of the beach to come to this sim. No running involved. Just Swim all the way, Sam. Now he's got there. Nice how the reflections are in the water when you get them on a nice sunny day. It's better than when you've got all the rain. I've actually turned rain off now because it was raining constantly. I come from a very rainy place, so I don't like rain anymore. I don't live in that same very rainy place, but... We've just had a few weeks of extreme rain where I do live now and uh, I don't want to see it in my game as well. This is for relaxation. I don't want too much reality in a game. There's still not many at the beach but there's some over there near those lounging chairs. At least nobody else has required CPR on the beach, so it doesn't really matter that Judy's decided to go straight home as soon as we told her that we needed her to stay. Getting a nice view of the resort in the background there. We haven't looked at it very often. Even though he's been on this beach most of the time throughout all the videos, we've mainly just been getting views straight from the, of the beach itself. Car driving down the hill. That's another drowning sim. Lucky Sam's on the ball. He's got there already. got to get them to the beach now. And he's got his red floaty thing. That was Mickey just squeaking his squeaky toy. Mickey's my little white dog, my avatar on the US forum. I think that's Laura La Rosa just there treading water in the left hand side of the screen. She's the one that Judy's still supposed to be writing a biography of, but she hasn't been able to start it yet. I might have to cancel that opportunity, I think. I haven't been worrying too much about opportunities in this game. Occasionally they'll get one and I'll decide to fulfil it. But mostly they just sit there blocking other opportunities from appearing. 
which is why you don't see very many opportunities coming up. I thought it was interesting there seeing two sins in the same boat. I usually only see one. I'm going to run over Laura. I just missed her by a fraction. It's getting close to the end of Sam's shift. Sometimes I let him stay there even after six o'clock when this shift finishes and he does manage to rescue a few extra sims occasionally. I'm not sure if that counts towards his final score because if he is rescuing when he's not officially on duty. I don't know if that counts. But they need rescuing so I'll go get them if he happens to be there. Somebody bouncing a ball outside now. So that's the end of this beach for the day. It's getting a bit dark. It's after time for Sam to go home. I think it's about seven o'clock at the beach at the moment, and he's supposed to go home at six. So we go to Mix Master Karaoke now. This is where Diana has to go to organise a gig because she needs gigs to be able to get her lifetime wish achieved. She wants to become a master magician which requires her to um, get to level 10 in the magician career. And she hasn't met this proprietor before so she's got to get to know him a bit. She's doing a few little tricks to show off. He's got a coin from behind his ear. But I think he's already agreed for her to have the gig. That went well. They're more friendly now. There's a few other sims there and there's another sim actually playing the guitar while all this conversation is going on. So she can go home now and prepare for her gig later on. We will see her during her performance in this video because it's the last part of this video when she does her performance at Mix Master Karaoke. She does also have another gig lined up. I think it's on Friday evenings she's going to be performing at the coffee house. So that's a recurring gig, but this is just a one-off. So if she wants another one at Mixmaster Karaoke, she'll have to come back and see the proprietor again. I think I'll get her to perform at the Carnival on the Water Lot as well, because there is a proprietor there and a showtime stage. That particular lot is close to where the coffee house is. So that's her gig schedule there. She's only got the two on it at the moment and only one's recurring. So that's how we are. We've got a little quick look at the where the toddlers are and what's happening upstairs on Plum Bub Island. Craig's been chatting with Muriel up on the ground level. And now Muriel's gone back down and she's working on her guitar skill. And she's also learning the songs. There's five guitar songs that they can learn. And I've got, she's bought all of them from the bookstore. And she will learn them all. There's some of her paintings hanging up behind her there. So we'll leave Muriel continuing to practice her guitar. Go and have a look at Craig doing his sculpting. Now Craig needs to master sculpting to get his lifetime wish. He also needs to master painting and inventing. By the time we finish this video, he will, I think, have mastered sculpting. He's still got a lot of work to do on inventing and painting. We've seen him doing a bit of inventing in earlier videos, but he's done very little painting. I think he's up to level 6 with inventing and level 2 with painting. But here he is doing his one and only attempt so far at a metal sculpture. He's mostly worked in clay. And I think most of the sculptures that we've got scattered around were done by him. I like to see what they can come up with, just like with the paintings. 
different sims make different w artworks. At least with the sculptures, later on, if you sell one and you, then you decide you want it, you can tell them to do it again, but not quite the same with the paintings. you just got to hope for the best that maybe they'll do that painting again one day. Here we go, a bit more of a look at Muriel with her working on her guitar skill. She's got a bit of an audience there. Harley's come home and she's thinking about a lifetime wish as well. And we've got Judy working through all the potions. She's going to actually learn all of those potions before we finish with them. That also increases her logic skill. Back home at Surf Circle, the gardeners have arrived. I thought we'd have a quick look at the gardeners turning up for work. We haven't seen them in the videos for ages. There's only two turning up now. That's because there's not much left of the garden down below. They're going down to the garden. That's Stella's bathtub there, but she doesn't need it anymore. She's got her pet hygienator that she bought with her lifetime happiness reward points ages ago now. So there they are, watering the garden. There's almost no garden left. There's still a few other plants and lower levels that they've also got to look after. Back to Plum Bob Island. We'll get a little quick peek at the toddlers. Judy's got singed. She does that a lot when she's trying to find these potions. Muriel's still working on her guitar. I won't show you too much of her guitar work because it's just there standing there playing the guitar. But she does actually get there eventually. Now, Crystal Waters Beach. This must be Monday. And Sam has gone to work again. There's Judy. I set her to work being a bit mischievous. There she is trying to bring on some bewitching rain. I've never had bewitching rain in a game before and the Weatherstone's been standing there idly by all this time. So we get Judy down to the beach and she took an unbelievably long amount of time to do this. I think it took most of the day she stood there doing what she's doing now. So I cut almost all of it out. It would have taken a video and a half. Before we get their weatherstone even getting active. There it is. A little lightning bolt came down onto it, I think, or it went, lightning bolt went up, one or the other. Now this next stage went on for another eternity. So we just waited and watched and waited and did a lot more waiting. And then after a really long wait, eventually we got some bewitching rain. But we've still got to do a bit more waiting yet before that happens. But hopefully I've cut enough of it out so it's not too boring. There's the rain coming down. We just saw the beginning of it. It's green rain. Now, I don't know what's so exciting about green rain. Sims are supposed to not get wet by it. And also, Sims that are hit by the out in the green rain and it falls on them, they're supposed to do some silly dancing. Well, I looked around all of the Sims at the beach and they're all in the rain and I don't see any of them doing any silly dancing. So it looks like we've got an overcast day now, which was a beautiful sunny day to start with. So now it's overcast and raining with green rain. Hopefully Sam will get to rescue some Sims from drowning. That looks like a good candidate. There he is. Yep, he's going to drown. Come on, Sam. you got a Sim to rescue. See, when he's not... Um, surveying the beach, he's idle and it's easier to get him. He can just manage to click onto the actual sim to get the opportunity to rescue to come up in the menu. Sometimes it takes me quite a while. I have to pause the game and go right over to the sim just to get Sam to be able to go and rescue him. So it looks like we've got Sam's attention now and he's heading off towards that sim to his rescue. 
He doesn't always take the direct path. Likes to get right in front of the sim so he can just pop that red floaty thing straight at them. That green rain's a bit disappointing. Next thing I wanted to do was stop the green rain, but unfortunately I didn't find any way of doing that. So we're stuck with it for the day by the look of it. I was hoping to see some sims doing some funny dancing, but they didn't. I think that money that goes up, that must be Sam getting paid for doing the rescues because it happens every time he does a rescue. Not always the same amount either. Here's a different view of the beach. I think I've got rain outside my place for real at the moment. It's just starting. As I said, I don't really need it raining in the game. I've got plenty of it out the window. There's quite a few sims on the beach today. Even though it is raining green rain and no one's dancing to it. Since the sims at the beach weren't dancing to the rain, I thought I'd go and check out the festival grounds and see if anybody there was affected by it. And yes, they were getting... Well, they actually weren't getting wet, but they were in the rain, but nobody was reacting. It was just sims at the festival as usual. So now we're getting close to the end of the video because here's Mixed Master Karaoke again and we've got Diana doing her performance. Not quite sure what Craig's up to there. Go and sit down, Craig. You're in the way. Now Meryl's in the way. Hopefully she'll sit down soon. Looks like Haley is making objects appear. All sorts of odd objects that come from the store by the look of it. Anything. It was a birthday cake just then. And I think she's displayed a few toys. The stage is more interesting with props set up. And I think she's also getting more experience at her performances and she's getting a bit better at them. We still do have big lags at times, but not as bad as before. I also removed a lot of buildings from my game. Like my two savvy cellular stores have gone, and the greenhouse and the alfresco market lot, they've all gone now. I was hoping that taking them away might reduce the lag a bit, especially the savvy cellular stores because they're so full of stuff. And lots and lots of cash registers, so there's a lot of employed sims there. I guess they're unemployed now. Hopefully the game will get rid of them automatically. I didn't want to eliminate all the homeless sims. Not yet anyway. With the hot hands trick. She must be working up to another one soon. She's slightly better lit now than she was before. It's still fairly dark, but they're inside a building. This is the first time we've had her performing indoors. We've only seen her performing at Performance Park or the Coffee House before, and both of those are outdoor venues. Well, the stage is outdoor at the Coffee House. The purple cloud thing behind her that came with, I think it was a limited edition or buying from Origin of Showtime. I just forget which. It's not custom content. It actually came from EA. I don't think there's any custom content on that screen at the moment. It's all came out of the game. She made the birds fly away. I hope they could escape. See, this um, Mixed Master Karaoke has got an upper level. You can see 
the upper level just there at the top of the screen. So, who's she going to get? She usually gets Judy. I'm not too sure who she's going to get to come and be her victim this time. This is brave. Meryl coming up. Meryl and Diana are mortal enemies. Meryl's thinking carefully about it. Will she do it or not? Is she going to go up there? Yes, she's going all the way up. Come on, open up the door. No, Harley doesn't want to do it with her. Meryl's tired. And Harley has decided she's not going to do it with Meryl. Just go away, Meryl. I don't want you. I guess Meryl will vanish eventually. Yep, she got the hint. I'm not working with you, Miss Meryl, says Miss Diana. Those two are always fighting. Whenever you see them together, when you haven't been told to do something and they happen to be near each other, there's always negative plus signs above their heads. Now, I didn't tell Meryl to get up and do that. The game did. So that was all not my doing. It was just I've still at this point not been interfering with her performances. I've just been let, letting the game work out what happens next. Here she is taking a final bow. She looks like she got paid for it as well and she's earned some reward somehow. This is a quick look at what's left of the audience after the gig has finished. So that's the end of the video now. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye for now. Carrots out.